Good morning, I'm John Perkins with the opening market minute. Soybeans, corn, and wheat are all modestly lower in the early going on Tuesday, seeing a little bit of profit taking after the recent gains, but not giving up all of those recent gains, especially in soybeans. USDA did confirm yesterday that soybean and corn activity is slower than normal in many key U.S. growing areas, but many areas are also expected to see a more conducive weather pattern for activity this week. USDA's next set of supply, demand, and production numbers is out on November 8th. Soybeans are also watching a couple of vessels head for China with U.S. soybeans. No changes on the tariffs, but in many cases, U.S. soybeans recently have been cheaper than Brazilian beans, even with the tariffs. Live and feeder cattle are mostly lower. I had a widespread direct trade this week. Fed cattle exchange results are out tomorrow, but widespread trade could end up waiting until after Friday's USDA cattle on feed numbers. And hogs are higher, watching the spread of African swine fever in China with support from yesterday's sharply higher close in the pork carcass cutout value. I'm John Perkins with the Opening Market Minute.